It's Good Times with Economics coming to you from the Quarantine Bunker. All right, this is a quiz. So what you want to do is get yourself a piece of paper and you want to jot down the, uh, the, the answers to the questions, right? And, uh, and then what you want to do is you just want to put those into the chat right now and just send them right to me. Be like, here's my thing, all right? And be like, score this now, dude. Put it in the grade book, all right? Because that's what we're going to do. We're using grade book now. We're not using teams for grades because it's stupid. So, um, <laughs> seriously, it's too much stuff, all right? This experience is all about absolute redundancy. Let's create an assignment in this software to grade it in that one, give response, and then move over to this one and that one, but do it manually because, boy, so tedious and dumb. Um, this is why revolutions happen, man. So probably not. But um, anyway, question one is, um, is this. Uh, there are some students who are being very conscientious and doing a bunch of work, and I'm really proud of what they're getting done. It's a stressful, difficult time. It takes a lot of uh, responsibility and maturity to do what you guys are doing and be checking in and be getting stuff done. I'm really proud of a lot of you. Um, some people aren't doing anything at all, all right? I want you to take a guess, because you've been in class. Guess two of them. Let's write down two people. You know, who do you think is doing nothing, okay? I'm curious, all right? So that's question number one. Um, question number two is about models. Boing, 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 boing. How exciting. Which of those pictures shows a monopoly? Losing money in the short run, but minimizing losses by staying open. All right? Rational positive Q in the short run, despite negative pi. All right. Question number two is about three pictures. Which of those shows long run uh, equilibrium? in a decreasing cost industry. All right, long run equilibrium in a decreasing cost industry. Cool, second question, same pictures. Which is the natural monopoly picture? Okay, so that was fun. Okay, uh, question number next. Um, I guess it had to be four, right? Because one was slackers, two was um, was losses, three was natural, four is what's this model? Okay, and what industry structure does it apply to? That was question four and five. Name of the model, four, five. What industry? Question six. This is going to be ten, by the way, in case you're curious as to how long this quiz is going to be. It's not going to take very long. I mean, you know, you are having fun in the bunker, you know, it's good. Uh, so, dang, we're up to question six, I hope. All right. Question number six. This is all microeconomics, of course. All right. Question number six is, see this graph right here? The blue line, or curve. What kind of thing is it? Question six. Question seven. You see this picture right here, right? What in the world are those two graphs? Okay, those two curves. Alrighty. Um, so either one, you know, it doesn't matter the order. No, no, it does. It does matter the order. Let's do the order this way. Um, the one that has its maximum where it crosses the other one. Put that one first and the other one second. Do it like that. That should bring us to question eight. I think I should be counting. Um, question number eight is going to be, what characteristic of, is it of perfect competition that makes profit so short-lived? Why does is long run profit in a in perfectly competitive industry impossible? What is it about perfect competition that precludes profit? Okay, question number nine. 
Question number nine is about this curve that you know so well. It goes down for a while, then it goes up. In order, what are those two regions called? In order, so first one, first part, then the second. Number 10, very last question. Number 10, what is something in microeconomics that you would like to review? Something you would like to study a little better, know more about? Something we've covered, you know, this semester that you're kind of shaky on or kind of curious about, okay? Thank you very much. Send your answers into the chat. Names right there. Boopity boop 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 boop. And then say, hey, dude, grade this. I'll have a little key there and I'll just do that. Now, here's the thing. You want me to grade this in like uh, two weeks or a week or something like that? No. Okay. I'm going to do this today, maybe tomorrow. And I'm going to lose that paper with the answers. I don't want to watch this whole video again. It's like seven, six and a half minutes or something like that. You know? I mean, dang. Hey, guess what? Someone had this advice. They said, if you give a student a, a 10 minute video to watch, Assume that they're going to have to stop it and go back and take notes and they're going to get interrupted because they have to go do the laundry and then their power is going to go out and, they turn, and maybe it wasn't as, quite as bad as all that. But the estimate was that to watch a 10 minute video takes 20 minutes. That's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it's been about almost, I mean, I'm going for seven. That's the plan. I want to make it to seven minutes. So maybe I should sing a song for you. Now I should recite the uh, Declaration of Independence, you know, Joe Biden style. All men and women created by the Jews go, you know the thing. Rock and roll.